Welcome to another Grab and Go. My name is Noemi from the Palmy Branch Library and this week we're going to be doing a Valentine's candy holder. So let's go on to see what's going to come in our craft kit. We start with, as always, with our written instructions. Then we also have one glass base. Something like this, although we do have two different ones that have a slightly different shape, you'll get either one or the other. Then we also have a Ziploc bag, and inside the Ziploc bag we have a piece of ribbon, also some jewel accents that will match the ribbon, and a couple of these glitter foam hearts, and lastly, a package of candy that's also going to be matching the uh, glitters, the, the jewels and the ribbon. So this craft is actually very, very simple. You can actually finish it within 10, 15 minutes tops. And we start by getting the, the glitter accents, the little jewel accents. And I'm gonna attach them right here to the bottom, but I should tell you, that this part like this, doing this right here, it is really up to you how you want to decorate your base. It really allows for a lot of creativity and personal decision how you want to decorate it, where you want to put the jewel accents, it's really up to you. And so as you can see, it also allows for, if you make a mistake, you can also pull it off and put it back on. Now once we've gone all the way around, as you can see right here, this is when we take our scissors and we cut off the excess. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and I'm gonna cut this off. And put it into place like that. And so now I've decorated the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing with the top. So I'm gonna take the other strip of jewel accents and I'm gonna start putting it at the very top right here. And like I said, it's very easy. This really is a lot about having a steady hand and a lot of patience when doing this because sometimes you have to pull it off and put it back on to make it look the way you want it to. And like I said, this allows for a lot of personal creativity and personal decision as to how you want it to look. I could put it towards the middle or just the bottom or just the top. It just depends how you want it to look. But once I've gone all the way around, again, I've ended up where I started. So I take my scissors and I cut off the leftovers. Oh, in this case, I cut off too much, as you can see. So, no big deal. I cut off another little round part here, like this. And I add it <laughs> right there and make up the difference. And so, it comes out looking a little weird. That's no big deal. You can put that towards the back. Okay, so now that I've attached it to both the top and the bottom, I'm just going over and firmly pressing down all the way around to make sure that it will stay. That way I know that it will not come off later. Because as nice as it is that this stuff will allow you to pull it off and put it back on when you're trying to pick, put it in place, it also allows for it to come off if you don't firmly press it down later on. So you need to sort of firmly press it down all the way around to make sure that it actually stays in place once you're satisfied with the placement of the jewel accents. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to wrap it around and tie it off. terrible at making bows but I'm gonna give it a shot and as my co-worker Veronica will testify she showed me how to do the best ones by doing the bunny ears because those <laughs> are the only ones that I can do that will actually come out even 
So do the bunny ears and then pull it through. And, and you can just play with this and, and, and adjust it so that it looks more or less even. Sometimes you have to pull on the bunny ears to make it even. And, and that way, more or less it'll look nice. Make it look nice. And if this looks a little ugly and crumpled in the middle, don't worry about it. That's why we gave you the glitter foam heart. So you can peel this off and put a little glitter foam heart right there in the middle to hide the ugly middle part right there. And your ends, your tails, this is when you take your trusty scissors and you snip off the ends like this and make them look nice and pretty. I like always to do angles like this. Believe it or not, we're practically done. Is you take your candy and you pour it in there. And see, the candy will match the vase like that. Now, this is a really nice craft. It's really simple, it's really easy to do. And you can use this as a gift and as an extra added little idea for you. You can actually go to the Dollar Tree and you can pick up all of these items. They're all available there except for the ribbon that you'll have to get on your own. But pretty much all of this is available at the Dollar Tree and including the candy. And you can actually also, if you want to give it as a gift, you can attach a balloon right here in the neck and give it as a gift. Or you can keep the vase by itself and actually have it as a centerpiece, maybe at a nice romantic dinner or at a, a party or something. So it's a really nice little quick, easy idea to do. And one last thing before we go, uh, there uh, we included some extra little foam glitter hearts, which you can add however you wish. Uh, just remember that these will be available at the Palmy Branch Library on Wednesday, February 3rd. Uh, at the Palmy Branch Library, there's a limited supply available. Also, remember that the accent jewels, the color of the ribbon, and the shape of the vase will vary. So you, not everybody will get the same one. So remember, Palmy Branch Library, Wednesday, February 3rd, limited supply available.